gravity of height, and that's by one inch. And that's really important because weight distribution is the reason that you have better handling and better drive performance in a vehicle. So now the tires are going to be carrying their own fair share of the weight, and you're going to have better dynamics when you're going through those turns. All right, comfort and convenience. Guys, I only have 50 slides left. Are you still with me? Okay. All right, let's talk about the rear seats a little bit. It's a lightweight, rigid structure, but we've designed it so that you're positioned in such a way that you don't have as much driver fatigue. So it's going to reduce some of the strain that you would feel on your neck and your shoulders and your lower back. We've also lowered the hip point 2.3 inches, and that's going to allow you to have a lower seat into the car. And you're gonna feel a little sporty that way, right? And then additionally, we've increased the um, area for where your hip and your seat kind of are connected. We've increased that surface, that way you don't have as much pressure on your pelvis. Talking a little bit about the cargo tunnel area, as I mentioned earlier, the hybrid battery is moved from behind the seat to being under the seat, so we are able to increase our cargo capacity. It was previously 21.6 cubic feet. Now if you have a Prius that has a spare tire, that will increase to 24.6 cubic feet. If you have a Prius that has a tire repair kit, then you'll have 27.3 cubic feet of cargo capacity. And all of our vehicles have a tonneau cover. Talking about the in-cabin technology, we talked a little bit about the dual display earlier today. Just want to remind you, it is a dual 4.2 inch full color display, and that's a Toyota first. Also, we have Qi wireless charging available. So if you have a phone that already has a built-in capability, or if you have a phone case that allows you to charge wirelessly, you would just activate the system by depressing the button to the right and placing your phone directly on the pad. Another new item that we have on the fourth generation Prius is Smart Flow. And this is basically going to prioritize where the air is flowing and to help a little bit with the fuel economy as well. So if it's just you, the driver in the seat, you can set the system to automatically prioritize the airflow to the driver's seat. Or if someone sits in the front seat with you, it will automatically, through the seat sensor, redirect the air to both the front passenger and the driver. You can also have the air obviously flowing throughout the entire cabin of the vehicle, or you can control these settings manually. <coughs> the steering wheel, the structure of the steering wheel, so the materials that were used to develop the steering wheel, were made in such a way that it's going to maintain the temperature in a variety of seasons. So if you're in the hot summer months, it won't be as hot to the touch upon initially getting into the vehicle, and it won't be as cold to the touch if it's a really cold day outside. But I just want to emphasize that this is not an electric heating, heated steering wheel. It is, in fact, just the materials and the structures that compose the steering wheel. The head-up display is available in our advanced technology package, but it is full color, and that is a Toyota first for us. And it's going to give you some basic information that the driver would want, and they can see directly in front of them as they're driving, such as the speedometer, the hybrid information, as well as turn-by-turn -turn navigation. <coughs> Steering wheel stitches, stitches, steering wheel switches are always important to our drivers. We want to make sure that they have the things that they need so they can keep their hands on the wheel and their eyes on the road. So you can see on the right-hand side of the steering wheel, you're going to have controls for some of our safety technologies, such as um, or convenience technologies rather, such as lane departure alert and dynamic radar cruise control. And then on the left-hand side, you'll have controls for your Bluetooth technology, as well as for the audio system. Talking a little bit about the screens, a little screens, a little more in depthly. Here you can see that we have the dual TFT display. On the left hand side, you're going to have again your basic information. So that's our main display. It's going to let you know how much gas you have in the vehicle, what your speed is right now. On the right hand side is going to be the multi information display. And there's a variety of screens of information that the driver would use. Here we have the system for the energy monitor. I uh, will also show you, this is what it would be for the audio system, and this is what it would be for navigation. Power mode, eco mode, and normal mode are all still in the Prius Hybrid. Here you have your Night Rider vibe, right? You've got the red power mode. It means I want to prioritize acceleration. In the blue eco mode, you're asking the vehicle to please prioritize fuel economy. And in normal mode, you're asking the vehicle for a balance. You want a balance between acceleration and fuel economy. 
Intune Audio System is new for the Prius. We have the most updated Intune Audio System. And in some of our vehicles, we'll also have the JBL Audio System, which means 10 speakers in six locations. And Fee, who is our representative and partner from JBL, will all be around all day to demonstrate that system to you guys. So I hope you'll have a chance to listen to that. On the Intune Audio System, we also have Siri Eyes Free. So on the steering wheel, you would depress the phone off hook and on the audio screen, it would have a microphone letting you know, please give it a command. So you'll have to have Siri activated on your phone, and you can give it some basic commands such as, read my text message, and it'll read all of your unread text messages to you. Or you can send a text message. Or if you have a meeting set up in your calendar, it will tell you, hey, what's my next event? And it'll go to your calendar and give you information about that as well. Again, those are going to only be for items that are inherent to the Apple iPhone, not another app that you might have downloaded separately. Okay, we're in the home stretch. Let's talk about safety. We have some exciting active safety items for you and some convenience items. First one you're going to see demonstrated is the Intelligent Park Assist. So this is going to be helpful in a crowded parking situation. Maybe you've gone to a sport event or a concert and you want to back in easily into a parking spot. So you'll see here the sensors on the vehicle are locating um, an open space for you. You would activate this button so that the system will want to give you some directions on what to do. So when you press that button the first time, it's for backing into a spot. If you depress the button a second time, it's because you want to parallel park. So here you can see the vehicle is backing up. It would have told you, hey, drive forward. And then it would tell you, okay, move backward. You are controlling completely how quickly these things are happening, but the steering wheel is automatically doing this for you. As you can see here, our driver was not holding onto the steering wheel in any way. And it easily guided him back into that spot. Another item that we have is going to be an intelligent clearance sonar. Now we have clearance sonar in a lot of our vehicles already, but this one is intelligent clearance sonar because it has the ability to kind of control your acceleration as well as brake for you in an emergency situation. So here you see our driver is backing into the spot. And as you're backing in, you definitely want to still look out for objects around you, but the vehicle is also sensing items that might be in your way as you're backing up. And as you move back, on this case, there is a wall back there. So as you get closer to the object, there will be an audible and visual sound, or an audible and visuals cue on the screen that's going to let you know that, hey, there's something behind you. And the vehicle will break itself if you don't break it in time. Also, we have the ability to have guidance when we are leaving a parking situation. And the vehicle, again, will give you an audible and a visual um, cue, letting you know that you might be getting too close to an object that's in your way as you're moving out of that spot. Lastly, I um, want to do a little quick fact on Intelligent Park Assist, Intelligent Clearance Sonar. They are available on Prius 4 and Prius 4 Touring as part of the premium convenience package only. But this is a Toyota first outside of Japan, mainly because of that Intelligent Clearance Sonar. And again, it's going to give you some guidance when you're parking. Last is our Dynamic Radar Cruise Control. You guys are very familiar with this system. Um, it's going to allow you to set your speed when you're traveling down the road. You'll just uh, press in and activate the system using the stop on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. It's going to use a multi-millimeter uh, wave radar and a camera to guide you as you're driving forward. In this case, the driver has spent, set the speed to 100 kilometers, and now they're cruising along the road at 100 kilometers per hour. Now, if the vehicle gets in front of this car, it's going to detect that, and you can set it up to three different comfort levels, I like to say, actually, and distances for you from the car to the vehicle in front of you. In this case, the vehicle in front was going 80 kilometers per hour. Our driver doesn't mind being halfway or a little bit close to the um, vehicle in front of them. So they're basically just going to depress the DRCC button that's located on the steering wheel to adjust how close or how far they are from the vehicle in front of them. When the vehicle in front of them leaves that area, the vehicle will automatically resume back to that 100 kilometers per hour. What's really cool about the dynamic radar cruise control in the Prius, it is full speed dynamic radar cruise control. So if the vehicle in front comes to a complete stop, the Prius will also come to a complete stop if you have this system engaged. Dynamic radar cruise control is part of our Toyota Safety Sense P, which Brian Williams is going to talk to us about 
right after I leave the stage. And I want to just let you guys know that this is available on the Prius 3 and 4 as part of the advanced technology package, but it is standard on all of our touring models. And this full-speed dynamic radar cruise control is a Toyota first. So <laughs>